Hey guys, welcome back to me growing my first ever business. And today I wanted to talk about how much work I actually do and how much output am I getting out there every day. So give you an idea of like my work ethic and just how much action I'm putting out there every day. Uh, for anybody new to the channel, I own Dylan's Digital Marketing. We're an SEO agency. Uh, we've got 11 clients. Um, we signed five in November, through three in December so far. Hopefully it'll be four. Um, started this year, earlier this year, and just been able to scale it pretty rapidly um and in case anybody's wondering it's all monthly retainers every client's worth anywhere uh, any client pays anywhere between 490 to a grand depending on what they want um so yeah going incredibly well um but yeah in this video i'm going to talk about my output per day i want to talk about uh how i do my contracts so somebody asked in the comments so i'll just give you a quick rundown of how i sort out my contracts from my marketing agency um another thing i'll talk about is my wake like today had like the weirdest wake up ever. I'll get straight into that. Uh, number four, I'll go into web development. So I'm getting my website re redone. And number five, I'll talk a bit about leverage in my personal life. And I'll talk about leverage in every video. You guys must be sick of it. <laughs> but um, it's just a concept that's always running through my head. So number one, my output. And this actually relates back to leverage. So I'm trying to, with all the money that, I say all the money, I'm not like making filthy money. Um, all, all the money that comes in with regards to revenue uh, from my clients that pay me for the SEO service, I take that and I try and employ leverage with it so far. So I pay myself minimum wage. I put 30% into a rainy day fund for like, you know, when I got a file for tax uh, returns and all of that good stuff. And then the rest of it, um, I put towards business growth. And that's just really another word for looking at how I can use leverage to get more outputs for the business. And the way I describe that is if it's me doing 100 dials a day in terms of cold calls, hopefully one day in the next three, four months, I can hire someone full time and then they'll do 100 dials and we both get 200 dials done together. So, and that's like an, that's an example of employing leverage. So all my money goes into business growth that goes towards leverage. And at the moment, I'm using a video editor so I can upload more shorts for doing digital marketing. Uh, it's just SEO focused content. So I can get more out there and really just try and build a compounding asset within the business in terms of uh, an audience, because obviously an audience compounds. It's one thing I've learned since um, building this personal brand. This personal brand compounds at somewhere between 7 and 22% a week, depending on the week. Um, like this week will be a lot less um, than 22%, uh, just because it's Christmas, right? And I didn't post any content. Uh, so I think we'll do about 12% compounding, which is still pretty decent. But Anyway, back to my point. In terms of output, I'm trying to leverage other people in various different ways so that I can um, get more done, get more output. And obviously, the more output you do, the more input you're going to get. The more input you get, the more output. I've confused myself so badly. <laughs> and basically, I'm just trying to do more in a day so that I can reap more rewards. There we go. So, Example of that would be like like I said, using a video editor. So instead of getting one short out every day, we can get three out every day, get more um get more out there. Um using a VA. So I don't have to put lists together uh, with regards to companies that I want to contact. And then I can just get to dialing, do more dials by doing it that way. Again, trying to get more input throughout the day so I can reap more rewards. And generally my main things my main criteria for whether it's been a good day have i posted content for dylan's digital marketing have i done 100 outreaches or more and then have i posted content on with my personal brand and i'll try and do my fulfillment at the back end of the days whether it be really early in the morning or really late at night to try and get it done then but those are, the, those are the three most important things to me um just because the content obviously compounds and i'm want to invest a lot of time into compounding assets so you know we keep growing day on day on day um and then with regards to the reach out so that's what actually generates me revenue at the moment so i need to do that and by doing enough reach outs obviously i'll get to a point where i can employ more leverage in the way of a full-time employee uh so is it really essential um, so that's really what my output looks like per day three shorts on dylan's uh digital marketing 
100 to 200 reach outs per day and i try and do most of them via cold call sometimes it's cold email and cold dm uh, but they're highly personalized but yeah i pr prefer to do cold calls just because i can influence the conversation a bit more and i found much higher success rate doing cold calls and then if i can get some content out for the personal brand like a youtube video a few tweets um and i post a lot on tiktok um and i can't crack tiktok for the life of me i'm like the worst tiktok creator ever but i think with tiktok you have to manufacture it right in terms of like day in your lives um coming up with like video ideas and because i do this at the back end of my day there's not a whole lot of energy that i can put into that but hopefully what i, what I might be looking to do in the new year especially um not anytime soon but try and get a tiktok editor to edit these videos turn them into you know little like tiktoks uh shorts or reels and post them i think that'd be cool a cool idea so something i might explore in like february march time uh, not yet though um so that's really my output per day and i'm just going to keep because there's only so many hours you can work so i'm really just trying to keep thinking of ways where i can outsource tasks so i can get more done um yeah as my revenue keeps going up just investing more into labor so i can get more done and that's really the plan but and somebody asked me about how i set my contracts so my contracts um i offer a 30-day full refund this is for any seo client uh, it goes through everything that i can't control like i have no control over ranking positions being an seo what i can do is try to make sure your website follows best practices and try and influence the rankings that way but me myself i don't you know create google's rankings um so the contract stipulates that so it's not a results driven contract it's like i said a monthly retainer where we agree on a set amount of work sometimes it's project based sometimes it's hours per uh per week um and yeah what else could i mention with contracts uh, how i do my invoice is always true on receipt um i prefer doing it that way instead of waiting you know 30 days for someone to pay me it's due on receipt so as soon as they pay me then i'll start then i'll get quick uh, then i get cracking with regards to doing the actual seo work um is there anything else worth mentioning it's very standard the seo i just do a uh, contract i do it on pandadoc uh if you're wondering it's just easy for ease like you just send it across they can fill it out within seconds and it comes back to me um every when i when i close a client it's just a pandadoc it's a payment link and there's an invoice pdf invoice um and that's it like it's dead simple uh, the contracts are for six months it's worth mentioning and then it turns into a monthly retainer so and actually <laughs> that's just reminded me of something that i've got to do later today um <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> um basically when something pops into my head i have to write it down uh, otherwise it's like gone forever right um so yeah and that's really the contracts but if there's any in particular questions you want to ask and it's, like i said the price uh, is anywhere from 490 to a thousand pounds and i scale pricing with my experience so i started off really low but well, like way below uh industry average and as i got more experience as i was able to deliver deliver results i scaled the pricing by like 20 percent and now it's at an all-time high um and that's nice right because we're making more profit with less fulfillment like say if you're charging you know this is a, an example by the way um say if you're charging 100 pounds per client you'd have to do 10 lots of fulfillment to earn that grand per month whereas if you charge a thousand pounds you know then you only have to do one lot of fulfillment to obviously make the same amount of profit so scaling the profits the number one way that you can increase your scaling your pricing is the number one way that you can increase your profits um i learned that from alex or mosey um don't shoot the messenger it's just something that i found to be true um and yeah actually what, what i want to talk about is me waking up today <laughs> a very interesting topic uh i set an alarm for five o'clock like i normally do and i don't know like i've never felt so tired in my life and let me know your thoughts on this but like for the life of me i could not get out of bed um you know, i weren't scrolling my phone i just woke up like opened my eyes a little bit I had this banging headache from being awake i guess and um I like crawled up, I made it out, um, sat up, and like my head was spinning. Um, I don't know, I just could not wake up. And I was like, I feel like so like drained, fatigued, 
I just lied back down and I woke up about, I want to say nine. Yeah, about 9 a.m. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's just from Christmas, right? Not sleeping well. Um, but let me know your thoughts on that. Are you? Do you take the approach of discipline over everything? Like if I have to wake up at 4 a.m., you have to wake up at 4 a.m.? Or do you take the approach of play it by day? Uh, if you're feeling tired, get your rest. Uh, because that's very much how I play it. Um, but like, it's not to say that I'll work less today. It just means I'll work later into the night. I've got loads to do um, straight after this. But yeah, I'm not really, the older I get, the more I think that you don't have to be stupidly disciplined. Um, it more comes down to whether you're doing the right activities, like waking up at 4am for 4am sake. I was the point of that. Um, as long as you do your reach outs, make your content, I don't really see why. Like, I do try and wake up early, don't get me wrong. But like, if there's a day where I feel like messed up, then I'll just give myself a few hours. And I don't think that's doing any harm to anyone. Um, but I know some people are extra militant. They like, have to wake up at you know 3 a.m. or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to be more lenient with myself. Um, I hustle quite hard. But I really do uh, in terms of sacrifice. But I'm really trying, as the years go on, just a little bit more lenient with myself, look after myself, um, that sort of thing. And like I said in one about two weeks ago, um, for the first like, five months of this business, I didn't leave this room. I was like, hell-bent on getting clients, getting the revenue up to a good point, um, and profit as well. Um, but with December being very slow, I'm hitting the gym, and I'm getting stronger rapidly. So just packing on a lot of muscle mass. Um, I mean, muscle memory. So I've lifted for eight years straight prior to this. I'm 24. Start lifting at 16, like dead on my birthday. Um and yeah, within the last five months, got really fat. So I'm like 5'10", 185 pounds. And hopefully, as you guys can see from like my face, I'm not like stupidly fat. <laughs> um, but um, I thought I'd use this month to just try and get back in shape, especially this upcoming week, because doing reach outs is not really going to get me anywhere. So I'm not really going ultra hard with them. Um, yeah, just training, doing a push-pull leg split or something along those lines. I like creating my own workouts as I go. Uh, I'm just trying to pack on as much muscle memory as I can because uh, normally I can bounce back rapidly and try and lose a bit of fat. Like when I'm in good shape, I'm about 165 pounds, 11, 12% body fat and 5 foot 10, like I said. And I've got a skinny frame. Well, genuinely I do. I'm not just saying that. Um, so, well, I'm 185 now. I'm just trying to drop a few pounds and my strength's going up because obviously muscle memory. And it's a good feeling. And well, so I do today. I had a web developer meeting, so I took on a web developer. Uh, well, I didn't take him on, like, just working with him, right? And really excited to get a website up and running. So when I started this agency, sorry, I was just eating. So when I started this agency, um, I very much had an SEO skill set, but I was struggling to make revenue in terms of, like, enough to sustain myself outside my full nine to five. So I was taking odd jobs, whether it be like paid ad campaign paid ad campaigns, managing little little bits of social media and a little bit of, you know, web design in terms of like WordPress and Elemental. Like I would not call myself a web designer at all. And if anything, I shouldn't have done that if I'm being completely honest. But I was just like so desperate to like start making a little bit of revenue that I took on jobs. So consequently on my website, um at, like this is going back to May, um it says SEO and it says web design. Uh, but really, I never offer any web design services because that's not me. I've got a good SEO skill set and I really should never have taken that work on. But like I said, I was trying to, you know, just make a few pounds so that I could sustain myself. Um, but yeah, I'm working with an actual web designer now. Uh, he's a million times better than me. And I'm going to get a nice website up and running. Uh, really excited for that. Run adverts to it in terms of Google Ads because I've got the budget now. Try and start off with maybe 50 to 100 pounds per day and see if how many leads we can get and just try and learn the paid, paid ads game whilst learning the content game whilst learning the well i've already, already got the cold outbound skill set but it's quite um it's quite a lot right but the fast the more time that i invest in it the faster i learn all these skills the more results we see so i'm excited to start learning the paid ads game and i might start looking at leveraging my personal life when the revenue gets to a good point and by leveraging my personal life it just means employing labor to move towards the goals that i like in my personal life outside of business and outside of the personal brand 
such as, you know, building a good physique. Like I've had to put that on the side, back burner for so long. So I might just hire like a fitness coach, bodybuilding coach. Um, I have no, you know, aspirations of competing, but I've always liked lifting. So I thought maybe like a bodybuilding or a fitness coach could keep me accountable. It could be something nice to have. So I don't have to think about, you know, whether I'm progressing. They just have it on a spreadsheet for me. Um, I might start and meal plans as well, getting those to my house. So I don't have to think about calories, but you get my point, just using money to make my life a little bit easier. Um, but that's about it for today. Um, good day, good day. Bouncing back from the Christmas uh, period. I really like working and it feels good to just be at my desk and grinding away. And a lot of today was strategizing, but I don't even mind that. As long as my mind's on the business, I feel like I'm making progress. But uh, yeah, peace and see you tomorrow.